He had one more lease at life, and Blue going with that ill-advised F smash. Yeah. But the, the cojones to run in and just up smash. And so we got our fair share of Pika Dittos. Moving on to Kirby Dittos. A fairly misunderstood matchup. We saw Handsome Tom release a guy lately. Uh, sorry, Ace Tom, I haven't gotten around to reading too much of it, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Go with what I know. Well, I think Preston there set himself up for something really nice. He ended up missing that Z cancel, but um, it was going back to what you were saying about him earlier. You know, it's interesting. He he uh, he used the up tilts and then he he down aired and was able to tech cha you know tech chase with another up tilt. Followed it with a second down air. He just missed that Z cancel on that one, but he looks like just having seen Spongy play before. Preston's punish game is very strong I think so comparison. that's like the the old um, stereotype with Kirby is like oh just up tilt up tilt up tilt what a great combo um, Kirby I, I think he's one of the best characters to read an opponent with like if you're better than your opponent you know you're better than your opponent is very easy to lock them down because you you can get some small reads on somebody that you're just slightly better than and turn them into very big punishes yeah oh yeah um, and the whole up tilt, up tilt, up tilt thing, that's, it takes a lot to know exactly how to keep a punish going as long as possible with Kirby and to execute. Because right. again, the stuff that Preston was doing uh, against me and friendlies, just like going around the side plat. And if you think about it, like you have a Falcon player, it's, you know, up air, up air, up air, up air. Right. But like, what you do after the up tilt, may, I think, makes a Kirby player in terms of their punish game. Yeah. It's like, there are so many different things you can do to keep it going. And finding, I don't know if there's a, a best one. I think it depends on the situation. Right. But they're, they're just finding which ones work for you is, uh, I think that makes a good player. I agree. And I think, uh, I think also, you know, at certain levels, people start to think that one way is the way and not that you can do something different in a different situation. For example, yeah, you want to try to use those up tilts to reverse bear, you know, whether it's rising nair or dare. But I think Preston was on that top plat. He was like, well, instead of trying to, you know, push him a little bit off stage, I'm going to keep going for, I'm going to dare and, and tech chase with another dare, or, you know, maybe get an F smash off the tech chase. So sometimes just daring them down again and following it up. Is a you know a better option? Ooh, nice follow up. Fun. Yeah, it's a good. Got him off stage. Uh, it's pretty hard for at least for Kirby to edge guard Kirby. Um, but Preston dropping really low there and not getting the sweet spot. That's like yeah. the two no nos. Kirby recovery, um, especially against Kirby and Pika. Like characters that have a really good down tilt, it's Ooh. hard to it's hard to drop low like that and, and make it back. Right. And then if you don't hit the sweet spot. There's just so many options you have to cover uh, that linear up B that Kirby has. Yeah. Oh. He really wants one of those, but I I don't think he knows exactly how to execute those yet. You can see the, he missed one The before. cutter combo. Yeah. Are we still calling that the Revan? Yeah, we can go yeah. with the Revan. I mean, it really got kind of standardized that, by Revan. Yeah, now. everyone can do it now. But it's yeah. just, it was really funny. You know, back in the day, you didn't see a lot of people do it. No, and Revan was doing it to uh, Clubba. Oh, yeah. Quick five stocking. <sighs> never forget the, that. Those were the days. Never forget. Yeah, never forget. Yeah, that. Uh, I think Clubba never recovered from that. He's a DK main now, living somewhere down in Virginia. Actually, at MVP Moms, Clubba busted out the Pika and the Falcon. Really? Yeah, How I don't know do? if that's like a permanent thing if he's moving back to like expanding his cast again because he definitely uses DK yeah. in certain situations and it works very well. Um, but aside Clubber. from that tournament, he was all DK. Yeah. Um, I think he played DK in teams with me. At SmashCon? Yeah. Interesting because at Let's Go, that was like the one time I saw him going Pika and that was teaming with Revan. I think it was SPK or something though. That's no, why. SmashCon was not. No? No. Neither was Let's Go. Huh, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. The, this might be your... You went to Snosa. Snosa 3? Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, no, that wasn't SPK. This is your first SPK tournament, is it not? Since Super Boom, at least? Wait, no, there was definitely another SPK tournament I did. Uh, Keystone? I honestly...
honestly cannot think right now. I can't remember. But I know I've, I think I've played it. Oh. Oh, that, I'm surprised uh, Spongy didn't have a punish for the Nair. All he had to do is throw out a back air. Spongy looks like he's doing much better in the neutral so far. It's early, but. Yeah, you racked up a lot of percentage on Preston, but. And you see, that's where Preston's going for that, like, re, you know, sort of like down air to force another tech situation. Yeah, I mean, all this whole stock has come out of Spongy not knowing, not getting an edge guard on Preston. Right. He, he had the position to knock him, you know, keep him off stage. Preston made it back on and didn't get hit again and took the stop. Kirby ditto. You want, if you get an advantageous situation like that, you want to get the most out of it. So a lot of the matchup is going to be, you know, playing for positioning. Once you get the position you want, you got to be able to capitalize Ooh, on it. That was a great uh, down smash because if he hesitated any longer, he was going to get caught by that cutter from Preston recovering. Uh, and Preston kind of an ill-advised, sort of try to follow up with that uh, that back air and then F air. Uh, all right, so <laughs> Spongy thought he had uh, follow up there. Just kind of, kind of got up tilted out of it. That's some, something you should be aware of as a Kirby main. Uh, approaching <laughs> Kirby from behind is not always going to be safe. Yeah, while he's grounded. Well, even if he's in the air. Yeah, um, even if he's in, that's true. That back, back air, back like we really said. Strong. Nice little poke there. Yeah, the up tilt push off is uh, wasn't a bad choice there, right? Ooh. <laughs> Gets in right after that down tilt. So Spongy's at the top here. Uh, we saw a couple. Uh, so some, one thing I do remember, I saw some of H. Tom's guide, and it was all about how uh, Fukuro positions himself on on the top plat when he gains control of the top flat. Because if you if you position yourself poorly on the top flat once you have it, you don't necessarily have an advantage. Your opponent can push you one way or pull you back and watch your landing, time your landing and their own landing so that they can get back ahead of you. Interesting. Yeah, and it all, it turns into some a weird kind of uh, spacing and timing battle. Sounds like very flow charty. Yeah, you know this Canadian Kirby means it's just Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we see it. That was pretty cool. Um, almost a stock even. You don't see a lot of Kirby up smash, but it's if Kirby has a shield break at certain percentages, or especially if a shield break on a plat, it's not a bad idea to try a uh, that single hit of a down air and then and right then into up, the smash. up smash. Yeah. Yeah. Very effective on Jigglypuff the down air to pop them up into an up smash. Yeah, and on his, another Kirby as well. So, because well, it's spongy, full stock, just 2%. Got a pretty solid, that's a pretty solid lead. Uh, he used that single hit of the forward air to drag Preston down below him. And you see he was pushing Preston while Preston was shielded with up tilts on that top plat, and he, you know, he knew to go for a, a down air of course, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't hit shield with it, but he didn't keep pushing with those uh, up tilts. I think that's something that sort of came to be common practice in the past couple of years. Oh, I feel like, yeah, all right, yeah, just go for it. Wow, yeah. pretty commanding second game there. Um, started out kind of close. You, we saw Spongy really drop an opportunity to, to take that first stock very quickly. Yeah, and then which but Preston ended up taking yeah, it. Yeah, Preston ended up taking it, and it looked like, you know, it was going to be more of the same, but Spongy really held strong there, took control. Yeah, and Preston, I think a little surprised. You could see, you know, he's, uh, he looked so strong game one. He almost had a four stocking at some point, but Spongy really came out and, and was patient, and, and he's been able to land those hits in neutral when they're vying for air supremacy. Yeah. Yeah, never get uh, never get overconfident unless you've already won, you know. <laughs> yeah. And look, even there where it looks like Preston has the advantage, it seemed like Spongy just had a better idea. I don't know why when he could connect the hit. He went for the grab there on when he, he was shielded. He could have up tilted him a couple times into a uh, short hop down air, maybe got a shield break. Yeah. But I mean, he's got a solid percent lead already and he's almost the same situation here 
with Preston at 105% and recovering. Ooh. This time he gets the uh, he gets the stock pretty quickly after Preston makes it back. Yeah. And so like this sort of gap is almost looks like it's broadening. You know, spongy looking even better this game right now. Yeah. And look at that pivot up tilt. Spongy. Great tech chase. He's got him Very at nice. the ledge. And this is actually the last game um, before. Uh, yeah, last game D2. before D2. Nice we, little poke. We're going to take a little break after this one. Preston's really got to figure oh. something out quick. He's down two stocks after winning the first one, the first game, pretty convincingly. Yeah. And, and it doesn't even look like, I mean, it looks, Spongy looks to be, like he's playing very well. Yeah, Connecticut's really starting to look like a, a, a really solid, you know, group of Kirby's there. Um, Spongy actually third in the region behind Gildo, who's, you know, taken several sets off of Fire Blaster, I believe. Wow. Um, yeah, I know, I, mean, I saw Fire Blasters uh, made a post basically like, these guys are gonna get really good really fast. And that's so great to see, like, you know, the young scenes getting better. Yeah, and it, <laughs> he, after he basically built it from the ground up, you know. Yeah. Brought, hit, so Preston well, with no edge guard there. the GVS, you know, really helping Fire Blaster get everything together. You know, they already had a very solid weekly scene. Good roll away from um, Spongy right there. And Preston really had no answer for his the edge situation. Oh, see, Spongy got to the top plat first, but wasn't necessarily an advantage for him. And Preston looks like he's getting frustrated too. I mean, he's coming in hard. He's, he's just like risking a lot on some of these <laughs> approaches. I think it's uh, surprisingly easy to get frustrated as Kirby. I think we see that with a lot of Kirby players. Um, Ooh. And that was good that he didn't try that too early. Wow. On that last I, one. Yeah, I can't believe <laughs> here we are after a convincing game on either side again. Just feeling like the, the GT, uh, was it GT Bluego? Yeah, GT Bluego. Let's see what he play. does here. Oh, and Preston not able to get something very good out of that. Ends the wake up there from Spongy really broke that up. And yeah, but but he also like he didn't really. I don't know where was he going with it, right? With the reverse. Yeah, I, have, I I don't know. I, I think he was opting for better you know things before with those down arrows to try to tech chase. Come but down to the wire here. Yeah. Um, Preston, he's got a decent amount of percentage on Spongy, but yeah, he's really just, he's going in kind of frustrated. A lot of unsafe approaches, and Spongy's been all over it. Oh, I'm surprised he managed to get that in there, but he didn't make the most of it. He took advantage on the top flat, got nothing out of it. Right, and then when he, when he was, when he rolls out of getting hit, he ends up jumping into Spongy's back air. Look at that. And this should be, this could be, be it here. Yeah, F smash. And that's it. Wow. wow. So, and is that Preston's tournament right there? I'm not sure. Um.